Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Mistress Wishes, and today we will be we will be going into my wallet and adjusting everything for next week because I did spend some money. So it's kind of like a wallet check-in that I'm doing because I'm digital, so I don't carry a lot of cash in my wallet. Um, I currently have six dollars in here. And I am going to do, I've been taking the dollar bills out of my wallet. And I am going to put those in another place. And the larger bills do stay in my wallet. And the change will be taken out and put into my change jar. So that is what we will do with the change. So if you want to stick around and see how I do my wallet adjustments, I'm here. You're here. We're here together. Let's get into this. Okay, so like I said, I do have some, I had $6 in here. I took it out because I do have some cash. Sometimes I go to the ATM sometimes for money just to have cash on hand so I won't have to use my card at like the local little poppy stores or whatever because I do live in Philly and we have those. <laughs> so um, I'm going to take the dollar and we're going to do something else with that. The larger bills do stay in my wallet. And the change that I have, we will be putting in my change jar. And I haven't used this jar in so long. It is covered in dust. It's crazy. Like, I don't even know. I don't know how, if it even, if it's going to, okay, there we go. It says there is $22.33 in here. And that's, a, a, you know, a lot of money for a little bit of change. But okay, let's go ahead and put the other coins in and see what we come up with All right and just with that little change we popped up the 23.24 all right so we're going to do this, put that there and i don't know if you were here last week but um we did a binder check with how i uh use my uh binder so this is the binder that i created that was in a different video so if you want to go back and check that you can go back and check my previous video that was where i showed you the binder that i created so i do have certain pages that i do in my binder as check-ins every now and again and this one here is my wallet so instead of the month and as i'm going along i will be adjusting what i put on my pages so that i can adjust them to me so let's see instead of month on here i think i am going to put over here this is week i'm gonna write week and then i will write what week it is and on a calendar it's the week two, 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 three ten through three sixteen okay so we wrote what week it was and that is what we're going to go with today and the total income for today we have okay, okay here we go so the income for today and all of my chime categories for my chime account and i'm just putting the chime account on here because i'm not going into my sofi for anything so the chime has a credit builder and that's just like a credit card that you a credit card that you put money onto and you use it as a credit card and it does help your credit but you the one that put the money into it so it's like a prepaid a prepaid credit card and then we have the checking one four five five four nine and then we have our saving at one 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 nine eighty okay so we have updated the amounts and we're going to go in and we're going to see what we have in the wallet here so i'm going to take out each now i've made these myself because like i said i don't carry too much cash so i do carry these digital print uh digital 
cards and I write on here um, if I shop and what it was for and the amounts. So I don't have anything for pets. So we're going to set that to the side. I have groceries and gas so far. I have dine out and shop. Well, sorry, that one was shopping. And I have a, a health one, which is also medical. And I have the kids. I wrote on that one. I have household, which I didn't use to, this week. And I have dine out which I use this week. And like I said, I keep my credit card in this wallet. So that way, when I go to the store to spend, I will just have my, my little marker here and I will write on here what I spend. If I remember, if not, I keep the receipts because I do keep all of my receipts in here because I do use the Fetch app. And the Fetch app, I scan all my receipts. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. So... Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit for it. Let's go in a little tighter. All right, so on this page here, when we did the check-in, these were the amounts that I said that I was going to budget for my wallet this week. And that was just for this week. So I'm going to write the budget amounts in here that I wrote from my check-in. So let me go ahead and do that. We didn't have any. That was a zero out. For health, we had zero out. For gas, we had 20. For groceries, we had 150. For the kids, we had 60. For dying out, we had 60. And household was zeroed out. And shopping was 50. Okay, so now that we have the budget totals that I put in here, we're going to go in and do our actuals. So let me go ahead and I'm going to look at the... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and look at the... The weekly here. And I'm going to write and adjust and add up my spending and everything for my wallet. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've added up everything. I'm way over budget as usual. But for the budgeting, if we add everything together, if I for what I budgeted for. Let's add these all together. I budgeted amount of 20 plus 1. 50 plus 60 plus 60 plus 50. So I budgeted amount of 340. And then let's go over to what I actually spent. I spent 537. Okay, so I spent five instead of 340. I spent 537. So 537 minus 340 equals 197 over the amount of what I was supposed to spend. But I will say the reason being is because I did not calculate the kids. I did not calculate for my daughter's um, school trip, and she has to go on a school trip. So I had to give her $100 for that, and I also had to give her money for some um, clothing because she's going to the Manners Conference in Chicago, and they needed to have a 20s roaring 20s outfit because they're going to have like a roaring 20s ball while they're there so i had to buy her the outfit just got that from amazon that was part of the shopping so that wound up putting me over budget by the 197 so i'm just going to put this as uh the school trip 
plus the the um the twenties costume or outfit. I don't know how to spell costume correctly, but that is what I basically spent that money on. So I'm kind of still in budget, but I had to use some some uh, monies for her school trip because I didn't calculate put that in my wallet. So what we're going to do for the next time? So this is our this is our new budget. I'm going to have to put new budget when I update these sheets. So for the new budget, we are going to budget, well, and I had also had health, which was added in here, cause I had to get, um, I had a doctor's appointment and I had to pick up medicine. And I didn't um, calculate for that either in my wallet. So luckily I do have a emergency fund. All right, so that's what I want to have to add a category over here in my wallet as uh, miscellaneous. So we'll add a miscellaneous category when I update my wallet. All right, so here we go. We'll have the new budget for health. So I do need a couple of things for my pets. So I'm going to put $40 over here for that one. Um... Health, I should be good on, but I do have a doctor's appointment coming up, and I'm not sure what the copay will be. So I'm hoping that it's not over a hundred dollars, but I'll put it at 120. And then the gas, since we spend that one, um, we're going to just put it back at the 20. Groceries, we still have money left from the groceries, so 150 minus 130. Eight equals twelve dollars. So this is a plus twelve. So I'm going to keep with the one fifty since that worked out. But we have the plus twelve in there now. And then the kids was way over because, like I said, I had to do the payment for her school trip. But I have to realize now that I also have another payment coming up for her graduation fees. So I am going to make this 200 just because I need that to be covered. The school trip is, I mean, the graduation fees, I think, are like 160 or 150 And if I put 200 in there, that should give me some, some wiggle room. And dine out was below. So let's see how much that was below. So 60 minus 27 is a plus 13. And we're going to keep it at 60. So that's that for that one. And then the shopping was 91. And my shopping budget, let's see what I usually have on here for the shopping budget anyway. My shopping budget is usually 80. So, I mean, I really wasn't that much above my shopping budget. So, I'm just going to put it back at 80. Um, and then household. Uh, I don't think I need anything. So, we're going to... What do I usually have in here for household? Let me check that. Because something might pop up. I don't even know. Alright, let's see. Health I always have at 100, but I'm going to put 120 this next time. And da 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 da. Where are the. Okay, so usually for household, I have it at 100. I don't suspect that I will need the whole 100, so I am going to put it at 50. And then for miscellaneous. Since we're going to add in a miscellaneous category, I'm going to put $50 in the miscellaneous. So let's go ahead and clean all of these off. And I'm going to go up here. Let's add up what I'm going to budget for this time. So currently checking is at one, four, five, five. So we're going to minus 40, minus 120, minus 20, minus 150, minus 12, minus, oh, I had to minus the 12 because I already have the 12, plus 12, 
minus da -da 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 -da, 60 minus 80 minus 50 minus 50 so we'll be down the new balance will be 8 8 5 until I get paid again so the new balance will be 885 until I get paid again. This is a messy, messy mess here, but I can understand it. So this will go in my binder for March as my wallet. So let's put this to the side so we get ready to punch that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean these off and update them. So give me a moment. Okay, and so a little bit of uh, nail polish remover or rubbing alcohol will take the marker off of these. So we're going to go in and update these now. So I need my marker here. I need my notes because I need to know what I am marking. So let's go through and pull each one out. Okay, the first one I pulled is groceries. So this time we have a budget. Currently the grocery budget is 162. And today is 310. So we have 162. So I updated that one. For pets, I am putting $40. As of today, for the for health, I am putting one twenty. For household, I will be putting fifty. For the kids, I will be putting uh, 73. For gas, I will be putting 20. For dine out. I will be putting 64, oh, sorry, 73, so that's 73, for shopping, I am putting 80, and I think that is all of our categories that we will be using. And what I will do is I will go ahead and put these back in my wallet. And I just slip them into the different little pockets. And I, everyone has their little place and I close this up. And next I do tell you guys that for the singles that I collect, Throughout the month or whenever I put them in my dog. Um, here we go. Okay, I can't be loud today because it is kind of late. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to put these three dollars. One, let's back this up so y'all can see what I'm doing. So, we want to back this up. So, I want you guys to see what I'm doing here. So what we are going to do is we're going to put these one, two, three, four, three wonderful, dirty little, cruddy dollars into bum ba bum my clear box show. Okay, I'm going to make too much noise. It is kind of late in my house, but three dollars clear box is back. That's where we're going to put this money. So y'all know what y'all got to do. You got to like and subscribe. You want to see this clear box come back. I believe, you know what guys? I'm going to tell you right now. I didn't bring this box out and I didn't get 
but three subscribers. So guess what? My clear box is back. And I said for every dollar, I was supposed to get a subscriber. So guess what? Three subscribers, three dollars. But let's do this now. Okay? We want to double that next time. So come on, y'all. Let's get six subscribers this time. If I can get six subscribers, we'll put six dollars in the box. All right, let's go. So for the first subscriber that I got after I put this money in here, I did get three subscribers this. So let's go ahead and we got this first dollar going in. And if you haven't hit that like or subscribe yet, go ahead and hit that like or subscribe because we gotta put this money in this box. I need you to subscribe to this channel. This channel is fun done 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 this channel is exciting guiding guiding oh um what else could i say this channel we roll with the punches we do what it do we save we have fun we got this clear box we put money in the box here's the second dollar going in the clear box i want y'all to go ahead i did not see you touch that like button when you gonna touch that like button Let's go ahead and do it now. So we could just go ahead and put this dollar in here. It's halfway in the box. Let's go ahead. Look, I'm, my box is getting so full, I can barely put the dollars in there. Look at that. It's popping back up. You don't even want to go in the clear box no more. I'm going to have to fold these bad boys when I put them in. Okay, so I'm going to fold this one. But that don't mean that you're not going to like or subscribe. You know what? Let's go ahead and let's go as far as saying we want to share this video. Let's share this video. Because I'm going to put this on, I'm going to put this on TikTok. I'm going to put this clear box right here on Instagram. I'm going to do me some, some ASMR. And I'm going to put this box on everywhere. Because you know Michelle likes to save. And I wrote the amount on the bottom of what we're saving so far. So this is the last dollar. It's going in and it's got to be full. Because why? Because our box is getting full, full, full. Look at that halfway in there. It's in the box. Oh my God, we got our money in our box. This is the clear box. Let's see what we got. Last time we put money in here was last month on 2-4. And guess what? It is 3 10. We have $52 in the box as of 2 4. It is 3 10. And now we have $55 in the clear box. We got $55 in here. And I said that once I hit a thousand subscribers, I was gonna break this box. I'm gonna break this box when I hit a thousand subscribers. So y'all, we're gonna keep packing money in here until I get to a thousand subscribers. And I've been putting money in here every month because it's January Hornets, February Hornets, March on here now. $55 as of March, y'all. So let's see what we can do for April. We're not playing, we're saving. This is Mission Wishes. And as I say on the end of every one of my episodes, guess what, y'all? I'ma see you seeing me. Put money in this clear box. Getting these 500 subscribers. Let's go, let's go. I'ma see you seeing me when I see you. Holla.